What's up, YouTube? All right, we're back at it again there today. Figured everybody want to see how the DeWalt DCF840 stacks up against the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver, the 2853. Um, these will probably be a little bit similar compared to the you know this and the DCF850. Both of these are impressive impact drivers. Um, this one's running 3,200 RPMs, or this one's running about, yeah, 3,600 RPMs on the Milwaukee, whereas impacts per minute, you're running 4,200 impacts per minute on the Milwaukee, and 4,300 impacts per minute on the Milwaukee. So it's a little bit closer compared to the, you know, the Dewalt DCF 840 and the 850. There's a lot more separation in impacts per minute. But we're gonna run a few tests this morning and see what we get, you know. See if the old DCF840 can keep up with Milwaukee's Gen 3. Uh, not too many impacts that can, so we'll see what we get. We'll go from there. We're gonna run a couple tests with the six inch timber locks. Uh, we'll probably throw in a couple lags after that. We'll see what kind of results we're getting, and then we'll try to keep this short and sweet. Uh, yeah, we'll see what kind of results we get here. Uh, also, we're running two 5 Empire batteries. If, uh, if the Milwaukee's basically smoking this one, then we might throw a flex bolt on this just to see if we get any kind of a difference there, because I do know when we ran the 850 up against the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee was smoking it with a five amp hour battery on it, and uh, we moved to that flex bolt battery on the 850, and it was it was keeping up with the Milwaukee. So, you know, we might see what that does. You know, with the 840. <clears throat> there we go. So everybody is aware, we went full battery on that, full battery on the Milwaukee. Comparison. I mean, I can't remember the exact price on this one. Uh, I think Bear Tools like it might be like 129 or even or it might be 150 or something like 149. I think is what this one is. Bear Tool. You know, quote me if I'm wrong, but uh, 99 dollars right here. So for the price comparison, you know. That's pretty close.
for the most part. Milwaukee's taking it every time. <clears throat> but it's pretty close, you know. It's definitely closer than what it was with 850, you know, running just a 5 amp hour battery on that one. Yeah, that's impressive. Whoa. We'll, uh, just for fun, we'll throw that 6 amp hour flex bolt on the DeWalt and see if that makes any kind of difference. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Eight forty took that. Not by much, but it gave it just enough. I mean, it's kind of like a like they switched there. It's uh, about the same separation we were just getting running the 5 amp hour on the DeWalt compared to 5 amp hour on the Milwaukee. Now if you were to run <clears throat> like a 6 amp hour high output on this, which I don't have any of those otherwise I'd try it, but if you were to run one of those on there, you know, it's more comparable to this battery, you know, with the set cells in it. You probably get some different results. You probably still see the Milwaukee taking, you know, taking it. But I think it's just interesting to see, you know, what the difference is when you put different types of batteries on these. Um, definitely makes a makes a difference. We'll run that again. sideways a little bit but <clears throat> I don't know if that made a difference or not but still I mean these two are very close close enough to where it'd be hard to like if you're a DeWalt guy you know it wouldn't make a difference to me you know how you know with that kind of you know separation between the two it's not very much very minimal it'd be hard to you know justify switching to this if you're already on DeWalt's platform you can get this for $99 so we'll go back to the 5 amp hour I was just messing around a little bit with that but first just some small four four inch see what kind of result we get with that
snapped that one right in half, so that's what happened there. Alright. Try to get that one out. If we can. I'm wondering what happened there. That wood came up from where that snapped there. So we're uh I'm gonna switch these pieces out. Switch these out there. I'll mess with that later. Throw this on there. Yeah, <clears throat> DeWalt pretty much snapped that four inch lag right in half, so we'll uh, <clears throat> probably gonna move on to a six inch lag. And we're gonna have to now, so. six inch lag area kind of always seems to separate these impacts when you run these big big lags like this took it but that's uh, <clears throat> a lot closer like I said if we were to run the 5 amp hour battery on the DCF 850 uh, there'd be a lot more separation with the Milwaukee so that's impressive with the 840 I honestly believe I mean this really if you add a speed selector to this this is DeWalt's this would be DeWalt's flagship impact driver I still think it is personally, you know, some people, you know, they prefer a speed selector on their impact, which is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I like having it sometimes too, but to be honest, you know, with this, I know we're just got a variable trigger on this one, but the trigger is really good. I will say that it's very responsive. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if you're good with feathering it, you know, you're not just gonna go full bore on stuff that you're trying to be a little bit more delicate with, and you know, it's a it's a great impact driver. It really is. Very impressed with this impact, and of course, always impressed with the Milwaukee. It just continues to stay on top. There, right, we'll run that test again one more time, see what we get, and then I might do a flex bolt run with this just to see if it uh you know if it overtakes the Milwaukee separation there uh, 
Still impressive. Yeah, we'll throw that flex bolt on there. See what we get. Still got full battery with the Milwaukee. Six amp hour flex bolt. See what kind of result we get here. Let's go around. A little bit closer. Still Milwaukee though. Man, uh, hard to go wrong with Milwaukee. So, yeah, there you have it. Yeah, Milwaukee's pretty much taking it every time. Uh, the 840 is staying with it though. I mean, it's keeping up, which is impressive, you know, given the price point of this one. So, um, yeah, we uh, might do a test with the 887 by DeWalt against the 840 and see what kind of results we get with that next. Um, if you like these videos, you like seeing these results, you know, hit the subscribe button and like the video for me. And uh, I'll keep bringing some more videos out to y'all and see what we got. But yeah, we'll uh, probably do the 887 next up against the 840. I think that'd be a good comparison. But thanks for watching today. Appreciate y'all.